to Praise the Lord, welcome to Life in the Word. My name is Minister Emmanuel Renee Jr. Now to my left. Minister Brazan. Amen. Thank you for joining Life in the Word on today. Please like, share, and yes. subscribe. Let someone know Life in the Word is on. Amen. We pray your day is blessed thus far. Amen. We've been talking about when the day of Pentecost yes. has fully come. Amen. And if you've been with us all week long, we're still in the book of Acts. Amen. Chapter 2. And we last left off in verse 4. Amen. We'll pick up right from there. And it says, And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So we were talking about, when we last left off, that how the Holy Spirit literally gave uh, those in the upper room a different dialect of tongues mm -hmm. to speak in a different language. Amen. And that this, is, this came to... Um, because of the, the filling of the Holy Spirit, yes. the, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. And not only that, the them spending so much time giving themselves to devotion, they were filled. Yes, Lord. See, for you to continually be filled with the Holy Spirit, you have to spend time in devotion. You have to spend time with God. You have to spend time in the presence of the Lord. And they spent how many, you know, X amount of days yes you know, waiting for the Holy Spirit to come. And I just want to read this here. It says, on the day of Pentecost, the believers were not only indwelt by the Holy Spirit, but they were filled with Him as well. We are indwelt by God's Spirit the moment we are saved. But to be filled with the Spirit, we must study the Word, spend time in meditation and prayer, and live in obedience to the Lord. If the filling of the Spirit were automatically guaranteed today, you would not be exhorted. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. So the coming of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost also formed believers into the church and the body of Christ. Amen. Yes. And when we look at verse 5, it says, And they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men of every nation under heaven. Right? So when we look at the word devout men, those who gave themselves um, to uh, religion, to yes. their committed duties or exercise of what they believed in. Right? Mm -hmm. So we see that there were different nations there. Yes. So now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and they were confounded because that of every man heard them speak in his own language. So what drew them was because they heard different languages coming from the upper room yes. that was speaking their language. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. you guys understand, when you think about just the 120 that was up in that upper room. And literally, they're all speaking different languages. So every person that heard this came to this location. They were drawn yeah. as it's as what is happening here, right? So we see that the movement of the Holy Spirit was so powerful, it gave them different tongue languages that affected nations around them that they didn't even know, right? And they were all amazed and marveled saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans, mm -hmm. right? And how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born? So we see that the Holy Spirit, they, something is going on in their mind. How is this happening? Yeah. These are men from Galilee. How are they able to speak our language? Yeah. How are they able to, uh, that we can hear them in our own dialect? And this is, the, you know, the Holy Spirit has a way to draw you. Yes, it has a way of, of pulling you when you are led by the Holy Spirit. But I want you to say something. It's amazing, it's amazing how you break it down because for the Holy Spirit to move like that and for the people outside to hear right. speak in different language, it tells you something about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will draw the souls far and near. Yes. Will, the Holy Spirit is so powerful that it will get people's attention from far. Yeah. And from near, and you said it's a devout man right. that was sitting here and we don't see devout men these days like how they were. Oh, because yeah. they were they were committed. Because I have the vouch and it said prayerful, holy, godly, sanctified, and it was like righteous men. Yeah. You understand uh, you, you people who sold out for God. They yes. they make their mind they were sold out for God, but when they were sold out for God, they tell God yes and God knows it was time. Right. God came and he made them the Holy Ghost came and took them over. But what amazes me is that they were speaking a different language and it draw, draw the people from outside. Yes. Inside yes. to see what is this going on. 
Right. What power is this? And this is what the Holy Spirit does. He can do anything but fail. Yes. And this is what I love this because it draw the people and they're like, we need to find out how we hear all these men talking in these different languages, our own language in different ways, yeah. in different countries. We want to know what is this. Yeah. And this is what the Holy Spirit does. Right. Like when the word goes forth and the Holy Spirit moves, people want to know how this word made me feel like this. What is yes. this I'm missing? Yes. And this is what the Holy Spirit did. Right. Right, yeah, you, you know, and it, the Holy Spirit was in bias. <laughs> we only just go and minister to one language, you yeah. know, minister one language, but we see the diversity of tongues. And they weren't speaking gibberish, they were speaking no. fluently tongues. in this language. Like, it, this showed you that, it's, that the Holy Spirit is not about a gibberish. You're literally no. speaking a different language, a dialect. And the, the miraculous power to speak actual foreign language. So the Holy Spirit can give you the ability to speak yes. in a different language. If needed to, if you need to minister. Yeah. If you need to touch someone, you can ask the Holy Spirit literally, okay. give me the ability to speak. Yes. That's we, we, we don't think that the Holy Spirit could do that, but he, he can. He can. The gift of tongue was one of the signs or wonders in which God used to bear witness to the truth of the message. So we understand that the message comes in different ways. Yeah. It's just not going to come in English. It's not going to come in Spanish. not only going to come in French. It's not only going to come in Russian. It's not going to. It's yes. going to come in, a, in different, in different languages right. all over the world. Want you to say? It's, it's so funny because the first person I ever heard that speak like different languages yes. was our prophet. Yes. One time he would speak Chinese and in 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 the different languages. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit. I heard Russian before. Come yes. out this month. I heard other languages, and I'm like, God, I never knew. You understand that the Holy Spirit could move. And you know what I mean? And yeah. even in one person speaking different languages. Right. And you know, tongues and different languages. That's how powerful the Holy Spirit is. Right. And I was amazed. I was like, wow. You know, you hear people speak, but when you can see it, because the Holy Spirit will move marvelous, oh, yes. so people can understand. Yes. yes. That's amazing. To I'm, me, that's I'm amazing. also amazed just at the conversion of yeah. how many people would come um, in this moment. Like the impact that it, the Holy Spirit was already making when it showed up yes. in the upper room. So it didn't take long for the Holy Spirit to work. You know, not the whole, only the 110, yeah. but the devout men that yeah, was there yes. in Jerusalem that would come. So men were coming, all men and women was coming all drawing. over, mm -hmm. just drawn by the sound and just by the language of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So we see that, you know, great things was happening in Jerusalem and it will begin, you know, the Holy Spirit was already beginning to work, beginning to touch lives beginning to move through those that were in the upper room and we'll begin to see more as we go further along in Acts chapter That's 2. Good. Amen. But we're going to leave it off here. We just want to thank you again for being here today on Life in the Word. It's a pleasure. Um, and we pray that the rest of your day is blessed. And my Amen. name again is Minister Emmanuel Renee Jr. And after my left. Minister Brazan. Uh, we, and we thank you. We got one thing to say. Jesus, Jesus is Lord.